I'm at a booth for a company called Bellman and Symphon with Peter Jungvid, and he's going to talk to us about uh, devices for people with uh, hard of hearing. That's correct, and uh, nice meeting you, and welcome to our exhibition here in Anaheim. All right. So, uh, yeah, we are a 35-year-old company. We've always been focusing on products for the hard of hearing. And with us to, uh, in this exhibition, we have three categories of products. We have um, our smart home wireless alerting system that helps people to be connected in their home to know what's going on and to stay safe. We have alarm clocks to help people to wake up in the morning to make sure they come to work and school. And we also have hearing amplifiers on that side to allow people to hear better what other people are saying, listening to TV and uh, podcasts, etc. Oh, great. Well, let's go through each category then. So we'll start with the uh, Hear Your Home section here. Absolutely. So the Hear Your Home or the Home Alerting System, Smart Home System, comprises of different transmitters for the door, for the telephone, for the baby cry, for the smoke and carbon monoxide and upon an event they will wirelessly transmit a signal to the receivers and the receiver you can pick you can pick any receiver you like but we have a flashlight receiver which is flashing with very strong light so this is a, this is a little cone sitting up that's about maybe six inches Oh, there's the doorbell. Yeah. I think lights are going off. So all you over the see place. now it is flashing, and the green light means it is the door. If I instead push the transmitter, the telephone transmitter, you can see it's again flashing, but it's yellow. So in our system, door is always uh, green, telephone always yellow. Let me guess, fire is red. <laughs> fire is red, <laughs> and baby cry is orange, right? Oh, okay. So. Um, yeah, this is the flash receiver. People typically put it in the living room or the kitchen. But some you are not going to miss that light. No, I th I th it's very I'm not going to be able to see when I leave this thing. No. It's so bright. That's but, great, though. But actually, you can also twist the head so it flashes into the wall if you prefer that. Oh, so it can light up a whole wall. That's neat. Well, if you f yeah, it can. And, and if you feel that it's too bright for your eyes, you can turn it a little bit to flash into the wall so you feel more comfortable. But it's, in some ways, a whole wall lit up might even catch yeah. your attention even better. I, I okay. Feel Agree. Then we have a pager receiver which you can bring with you, which vibrates. So, so uh, would you clip that on your belt? So you click it on the belt or you put it in the trousers. And now you can see it's a green light again to indicate for the door and you feel maybe the vibration. It's a long vibration. Do you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So You're not gonna miss it. Again, it's yellow, and you feel it's a little bit different vibration, right? Okay. Which makes, which helps you to recognize why you are alerted. So that that medium one there, I know that's a spam caller. I can ignore it, but uh, that one for the doorbell, I might want to get. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> oh, and the baby is still a, a, another one, and the, a, and the, so is the fire. And you know, some people or most users, they learn very quickly. So they, if they keep it in the pocket, they don't need it even to bring it up and look. They feel they directly, know? yeah, they oh, get to know yeah. which vibration it is. And this is a good day solution. And if you like, you can have also the accessory, which is a, a night cradle, which charges this one. Well, maybe I should say, you can run it on a normal alkaline battery if you like. It's very easy to, to take out the battery. But if you like to have a rechargeable unit, the rechargeable unit comes with a rechargeable battery that you put inside. You put it in here, and then at night, you can use the bed shaker. A bed shaker? Which? So this is a, a puck that's um, maybe just the size of the palm of my hand with a little yeah. rubber thing on it. So now Ooh. I press the door, oh, yeah. and you can feel it's vibrating. So this provides you with a 24-7 solution, right? Right, right. Daytime, you can use the pager. <laughs> at, night, at night, you have you have the, the bed Sorry, we're laughing uh, to the audience. Do it one more time. The uh, trans the transmitter or the receiver is uh, for the bed is bouncing across the yeah. table. So but you just set that on the bed or under your pillow or something? Under, under the pillow, typically, yeah, or okay. under the mattress. You are not going to miss that. No. And you can stop it if you once you're woken up by pressing this red button. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So you, and also when you wake up, you can see why am I alerted? Because you can still see on the pager the color, you know? Right, right. Yeah, good. <laughs> Another very popular receiver we have is the alarm clock receiver. So this is an alarm clock that helps you to wake up using flashlight, vibration, but also sound. And the sound goes through different frequencies 
uh, and escalates over time. So it's a soft wake up, stepping through different. Uh, but sound using frequency. sound to wake up someone who has hard of hearing. Yeah, but we we sweep through different sound frequencies, optimizing the hearing, and then the sound escalates. But okay. but also you have the light and the bed shaker, right? Okay. So okay. it's a, you have three three. You're ways going to work, to work whether you like it or not. Yeah. So um, you can uh, you can see here now. I press the doorbell. Again, you see it's a green, which is always, as I mentioned, the, the color for the door. Mm -hmm. And again, you can see the, the bed shaker is bouncing around, mm -hmm. right? In this I love case, the bed shaker, right? Yeah, I just want that. That's so fun. You know, also it's, it's shaped in a soft way yeah. and with a rubber here, a rubber here, so it's not sliding around in the bed. Yeah. And um, All as, right, you, you... as you maybe saw, you can snooze it from, the, from, from some of the sources. But let's say that you have a fire. Ah. Then let's press the push button. I'm Sorry, afraid let's, to hear it. See what this yeah, is. let's let me press press the test button here. Now, oh now you cannot snooze. Lit up. And that's a safety safety issue that you cannot snooze it because you don't want the user to wake up and say, "Oh, let's snooze." Oh, okay. Uh, you you like the user to really take action. How do you and, make and it stop? Well, you need to make sure that the smoke alarm stops transmitting. And then after the last, uh, after the smoke alarm stops transmitting, it will stop automatically after 20 seconds. Okay, I'm just trying to save the audio yeah. audience yeah. of hearing it bounce. Okay, so I will... Okay, there we go. Wow, you are not going to miss that. So and now can we go around to the, uh, the sound amplification for... Absolutely. Okay, we're going to step around here. Maybe, maybe this one are, is also of interest. This is a, um, a Bluetooth bed shaker. And it's a little different form factor. What he's got here is maybe three inches on a side. It's got a uh, micro USB charger there. And this is, but it's not rubbery. What does this one do? This is to also to wake you up. It's very popular. It's not part of the former system I showed you. So when you buy that, you also download the VBO app. And the Vibio app allows you to set a time for waking up. So let's say 10.31, I save it. It vibrates three times just to confirm that the alarm time setting is okay. received. And now even if you remove your telephone or your telephone goes out of battery, it will still work, right? So this right? would be great for going on travel. Absolutely, but great. also many people use it at home, right? Okay, because it's not tethered. Sorry, it's not. It's not tethered. It's got, it, it doesn't have a wire. No, no, no. It's wireless. It's wireless. It's Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. So here, people put it normally under the pillow or the mattress. And if you like to snooze, you can snooze from the app and stop it from the app. Or you can do that from here. You just pull this once, like that. Oh, it's it's got a red tab on it that he yeah. pulled and that that paused it. It snoozed it. <laughs> and you see, you can snooze it. And if you like to stop it, you can pull it twice. And now it's stopped. Very cool. And what an interesting design. Never you know, seen anything like and that. And why people like this is because of what I showed you. But also, if Yolanda is now calling to my cell phone, okay. my it, this VBU Bluetooth bed shaker will again uh, alert you. Only if the uh, cell service works in here. Oh, there it goes. It's yeah. it's vibrating. Yeah. yeah. So again, this is a good way to. I mean, if there is an emergency at night, you can still reach the person this Very way. Cool. Same if, same if Yolanda would uh, send a text message to me, or somebody sent a text message to me. Yeah. That way. Oh, yeah. very cool. Good. All right. And so now, what are the what are these products here? Um, these are hearing amplifiers, and we have uh, different models. Maxi Pro is the, the uh, problem. These are solving is is to help what to help hear what other people are saying. Okay. And in this case, with Maxi Pro, it also has Bluetooth. So you can connect it to your your mm -hmm. uh, tablet and listen to podcasts. You can connect like it mine? To, your, to a cell phone, <laughs> and you can have a two-way communication, amplified amplification. You can hear what the other person is saying, amplified in the headset. Okay. The headset. So you so you were you were headphones into plugged into this. Yeah, you use headphones plugged into that, and um, so w with the headphones you can hear. Let me let me use it. So I put them on, 
This device has a microphone, it has a digital amplification. So this looks about like a remote control, yes. what he's got in his hand. Yes, and the, with a volume control, large okay. tactile volume control, you can increase or decrease the amplification. And also a tone control, which is easy accessible to oh. further optimize your hearing. And uh, so with, with this a product in microphone mode, I can hear what other people are saying around me using oh, the microphone. So are, are these for people who uh, don't have hearing aids? This is for a device for those who do not have a hearing aid. Maybe they don't like to use a hearing aid. Okay. Maybe they, it's difficult to use a hearing aid because of dexterity issues, or maybe they just like uh, some temporary listening device, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. All right, well, you know what, this has been very interesting. So the company is uh, Bellman and Symphon. Do you want to tell people where they can find it? Yeah, it is, um, the, our U.S. website is shop.bellman.com, shop.bellman.com. But it's not just a shop, it's a useful information. And we have uh, videos on our uh, website where you can see why these people, why these products are helping you, and if you like, you can also see other how to use videos. Very good, and Bellman is spelled B-E-L-L-M-A-N. Correct. Thank you very much, Peter, this is really interesting. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much.